Hello nerd fans and welcome to another episode of Non-Lethal Plays Blood Bowl Chaos Edition. Uh, this is going to be our third match and as always this game will end once we have either been totally decimated and cannot field a full team or once we win the cup that we are currently participating in. So, we've got our necromantic team, non-lethals and necros. We had a little bit of a bad game last game against the Wood Elves, where we lost, as you would have seen, but uh, we're going to dive right back into things and see if we can kick it off and just keep going. Alright, looks like we'll be going against Orcs? Orcs? Where are we? Yes, Deceived Eds, Orcs, hooray. Whoa, that's a lot of gold. Alright, so we're going to do what we have been doing recently and purchase some uh, star players and mercenaries to come in. We'll go with flesh golems with block. They served us well last time. This is going to be a very handy addition to our game. Alright, 40,000 left over, which isn't enough to get any more, so we'll just go like that. Uh, cheering hands. No, wizard, no. Uh, what are we going to do? Budweiser babes. Nope, 50,000. 100,000. Nope, whatever. We'll just go with that. Okay, they've got some mercenaries as well. No, that's ours. Duh. They've, uh, doing some training. And, uh, someone has extra strength for the match. Hooray. Alright, so, diving right into it against the Severed Eds, the Orc team. They are more famous than us and have a much, much higher team ranking than us. They have three cheerleaders, two rerolls, and one apothecary. We'll have to see what we can do to thump them around. Hopefully they don't have anything big and scary. Orcs are a pretty standard team. They're a little bit thumpier and a bit more armoured than, say, a human team, but they're probably better at running the ball than throwing the ball. But it they do have throwers, so it really depends on what sort of advances their team has, so hopefully it's something good for us. Right. We are going to... they're a thumpy team. We are more of a runny than thumpy team, so... Alright, let's... Oh, we got three black orcs. Not so good. Put our whites to put the front. Ghouls at the back. Werewolves to plug the hole. We are kicking off, so maybe we'll put one guy there to plug gaps and another guy there. I think that works a bit better. See how we go. We'll kick off. They do have. We throw a guy there. Let's try to get it away from him a bit. That's it. The ball's in play. There's going to be trouble. High kick, because we haven't seen that one before. Whoa, it's gone way out, so they just get the ball. Alright. Yes, they do have a thrower who's good at kickoff returns. They've got some big black orcs at the front here. A troll, who I didn't see before. That's terrifying. Let's move on to the stats so we can see what's going. Uh, they're forming a pocket around the ball carrier, so we need to push into the pocket. Oh dear, they're probably going to throw it to that gold one, aren't they? This is less than ideal. Alright, we're getting smashed up a bit. Not off to a good start. Alright, get up you mugs. We do have some very fast players, so we can use that to our advantage here. Get some tackle zones around people who need them. Oh, get up. We need to get some support around our guys in the front here too. They're getting absolutely smashed. To start with, we'll get some tackle zones on this guy. I think that's our main port of call. 
and uh, get some support. And I'll probably use. Oh, we won't blitz that guy. He can make it to the end zone, but. Oh, we'll just put tackle zones around him. So that way he has to dodge around and. He can still make it to the end zone, but he has to dodge around everyone. Alright, so what we'll do now is plug some hole here, 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 and here. And we'll use our non-upgraded werewolf to do a blitz, and we'll probably blitz this guy here, like so. Oh, no, don't want that. There was a time when the colleges of magic hadn't yet ruled on limiting wizard assistance to teams. Who could forget the infamous 2472 Quagmire incident when rampant spell casting caused the entire bright... No, oh, we'll leave him there. Why not? All right, let's see how we go. Plugged a couple of gaps. We've covered their receiver quite well, I think. Yes, we have. He is knocked out. They were going for it, though. Alright. Now we can make an actual attempt on things. So, what we need to do is get some... We need a good blitz on that guy, I think. He's just a lineman, so we need to cancel out his assist by moving to there. Uh, we need to... Move him there. Uh, it's only one die. It's not good. Still only one die. Hmm. Hmm. It's not ideal. Alright, let's uh, try to fill some of these gaps then while we look into that. No, that's bad. There. Alright. Yesterday bad. I interviewed Ripper. I'm do that anyway. The troll super champion. Interesting. And I can tell you that he's All as right. violent off the pitch as on it. He's skinned alive, my colleague from Elf Magazine. Let's try this anyway. What do you expect when you put an elf next to a troll? It's nothing personal, just an instinctive reaction. So I could move away, but I'd have to dodge. I'd rather not do that. Let's leave him there so we can thump that guy again. Alright, might as well try for some single die. Attack. Oh, double die attack. Alright, pushback is fine. Yes, we'll follow up. Control. Oh, that works for us. Ooh, knocked out. That works wonderfully. So they don't have their goblin and they don't have their troll now. Fan freaking tastic. We'll push him back that way. That way you'll have support here to go... Oh, it's only one die. Oh, we might as well leave that there. This is turning out a bit better than I thought it would. We've knocked out their goblin and their troll. So the longer we take to score, it means the less chance they'll have come to come back as well. This player was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, He's coming to support the line. Oh, not good for them. Did you hear that the Orchard Raiders lost their last match against the dancers? Dancers? You mean war dancers? That's one die. All right. Let's look at how this can work. So if I did a blitz there, then I can move on to the ball carrier, but now, what I can do, is so move to there, and I can get a blitz on the ball carrier now. Alright. Oh, 
I'd really like to knock him down. Yeah, let's re-roll it. Ah, oh, dang it. Yes, of course we'll follow up. Alright, you can come around to there. That's good, good. Alright, now let's thump some people. Be thumped. Yes. Ha 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 is really endemic in this sport. Isn't it written into the game rules? I don't like where this is going. You can move over there. And go, I'm a flesh girl then. I'm going to freeze up this guy to come around and support elsewhere, like over here. Beautiful. Looks like we're doing okay. Thumping lots of orcs where I thought it would be the other way around. Oh dear. He could catch the ball. Oh, he's strength four. No wonder he was so tough. Totally didn't think he would go down to catch. Now we don't have anyone who can intercept either. Ah! <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's do like that. He sent him down for a check with the astro granite. You can go all the way down there. Digging, 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 digging. He can go down to there. Beautiful. Now we're covering the receiver. Now, we need to blitz the living crap out of this ball carrier. Boosh. Or do we just move him? Attack with him. Ah, oh, this will still work. Boosh. Yes. Cool, we can get our whites and star play points. Now I just need to cover him. Alright. We're doing alright here. Not so bad at all. Knocked out. Alright. Boom, shaka laka laka. Okay, and you can move down to there to provide support down there. Excellent. And we can basically hold off scoring as long as possible and we'll be right. Until the eighth turn. Just before the half. What a wonderful game this has turned out to be for us. Ooh, he's going for it. Oh no, he's not. Huh, interesting. Ah. <laughs> no, let's stand our guys up. Yes, you say touchdown, ahoy, but not on my watch. Need a big blitz here. Mush, mush. Oh, that's a shame. 
Ah, oh, well, no blitz for me. First turnover, that's all good. Do not mind that at all. Oh, where's he going? Oh, he can make it all the way to me. Bit playing card. Very oh, interesting. They're running for me. They're not going to make it, but they're running for me. Sidestep, fool. Oh dear. Alright, let's stand all our guys up, do our big blitz, and then we will just get a touchdown, I think. Get our guys in a position just in case the worst should happen. Safely, so let's do that. Ooh, dear. All single dice blocks, unless I go there. Nope, still single. Single, 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 single. It's a double there. See if we can take it. There's strength four guy. Boom. Oh, knocked it down. Just go there. Go there. All right, time to run in for a touchdown. I think. Yes! Ooh. Look at that dance. Alright, we've got our touchdown. Hopefully none of their guys get back up. We'll see in a second. We've still got guys in our dugout. Both of their guys are still knocked out. Their goblin and their troll. Ooh. Sorry, their goblin got back up. One of their normal guys got... He's still down. Alright, I think that was a good setup. Let's do that again then. Worked very well for us. Oh, three black orcs at the front. Let's go a bit close this time over here. Quick snap. Means they all get to move a bit. Oh. Boom. And we've got the ball again, coming up to form a pocket. It's a bit deeper this time. Do have to take out that goblin. Now there's one that won't be coming back in a hurry. Let's see if the same strategy works again, hey? That reminds me of when I took Griff the bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh yeah. All you right. Need, Captain. That's what happened. Ah. <laughs> Attack her down. That's what I like to see. Alright, let's get our guys on the line back up. What strength is a goblin? Strength 2. So it'd be two dice to blitz him there. Alright, let's move some guys up and around here. The first quality required of an orc is to be able to hit hard. And if possible, not to think. The latter is considered a nasty flaw. Plug some holes. To there, to there. Up and around to... Nope. To there. Uh, 
And we've got this guy who can run. No, he cannot. Why do you insist on doing that? Can't you do... Oh, because you have to dodge... Oh, okay, I get it. That makes sense. Alright. Still move to there then, to plug that hole. This guy can move here. And apart from doing... Oh, we'll do the important one first, in case we screw it up for some reason. He's got dodge. It's annoying. Alright, that didn't work so well, but still. He's further away from all of his friends. I think that's it. We're done. Let's be their last turn, so unless they score this turn, we're safe for this half. So it's just going to be a thump fest now. Thumping going on. Yeah, I'm willing to send him down. Sends makes a turnover. Hurts my guy, but it's a turnover. And my guy can get straight back up. Alright, so last turn before the half. Now's the time to put the boot in, as they say. It's a big strength for orc. Alright, we can't really get to the ball carrier, but we can thump some other people. So we're doing pretty good at the half so far. We are up 1-0. None of our guys have been injured at all. They still have some guys that are knocked out. Though we'll see if they remain that way. Be a bit more difficult for us if the troll gets back up. Which the troll doesn't. Their regular orc does, but their troll stays down. This is exactly what we wanted. Right, I'm going to stop this episode here. And we'll see how we go in the second half. As always, I'm non-lethal. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it on your social medias. And until next time, bye.